What's going on, people? Hope y'all doing fantastic. This video is going to be about the uh, electronic logging device, ELD, right? Now, if you're pro ELD, if you think everyone should have ELD and everything is good and it's going to make the road safer and all the other junk that they tell us, you know, mainstream news and all that kind of stuff, Federal Motor Safety Carrier Association, all that kind of stuff, this video is not for you. It's, it's not. So you can just click off now and you can uh, go watch something else. Now, here's what I see coming with the ELD thing. There's a couple different things. Number one, they want, it's not, in my opinion, it's not about safety. It may be like a little small like that about safety. But the rest of it is more about control. What do you mean, brother man? Tell us. I'm listening. Control. Well, see, they want to roll out all... When I say they, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Association and all the big boys and all the lobbyists and all that stuff. They want to roll out these rules and regulations and these different... Um, help me out here. What's the word I'm talking about? Just uh, rules and regulations, right? and uh, reg regulations but they can't do it if everyone is not on the same page what do you mean the ELD thing is to have con is to tie it into your engine so therefore they can read what's going on what you did where you've been going how fast you got there how much fuel you used any issues going on with your truck and the list goes on they couldn't do that with you know with everybody scattered all about and and everything but now they have a, a system in place to where okay well we'll make this mandate to where everybody has to have our little machine plugged in now we have control or access slash control over their vehicle do you follow me? I'm slowing down for, you know, for a reason so you can catch up. See, it's about control. Do you remember when, it wasn't too long ago, when they were trying to push the speed limiter thing and it got shot down? Well, somebody probably said, uh, yeah, it's a good idea, but the infrastructure isn't there yet. What do you mean the infrastructure is not there? Well, just what I talked about. See, they rolled out this ELD thing. Everybody has to have an ELD, electronic driver log, plugged into their computer. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future, I'm not going to put a timeline on it, in the near future, they roll that speed limiter thing back out again. It's because, because now, I'll say, half of the industry, 51% of the industry, has these ELD things plugged into their truck so now i'm sure they have some type of rfid chip which is going to you know send information out and back and forth and what do we know about that it's a tracking device so now everything that you do on your truck you speed up slow down how much fuel you use um any issues you got going on with your truck they're gonna know about may not right now in the near future right so what sparked this video was, oh, I got something else to say towards the end. What sparked this video was, I was reading an article that came out last year, and they were talking about how it was Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and I think it was just the four. Four states are testing out uh, class three inspections without with just a drive-through class three inspection. Well, how are they going to do all that? Well, they need something to read off of. They need something like an ELD plugged into your ECU that's going to transmit all this information. So, let's say you got a check engine light out on, on your truck, right? Well, that's going to get transmitted because it's already, you know, everything's all plugged in together. I'm just using that as an example. Has it happened? No. But I'm just saying, like I said, in the near future, I see this stuff coming, right? Now... This whole driverless truck thing. The infrastructure is slowly being built for this. 
They can do it now, but not on the mass level, is what I think. So they have to get everybody on the same page. Now, these trucks are going to communicate with your ECM. <laughs> I know this stuff, stuff is far-fetched. It's like one of them sci-fi movie things, but I, I just, you got to understand, you got to try to think like they think. Not be like they be, not be like how they are, but think like they think, right? So now, the truck, the ECM, all the computers can communicate with each, with each other. So now, I said I would get to us towards the end of the video. Now, this is why there's a big push for 5G to do all this stuff. The 5G network, you got the 3G, 4G, LTE. Now 5G. That 5G is some wicked stuff. Uh, you don't know what it is, go check it out. Um, but this is just some of the things that I see, and it's it's uh, in the near future, in the far future. I mean, it's not looking good for the industry. And you take what you want from the video. Um, I'm just putting my thoughts out there of what I see. Um, it's a short video. It's six, a little over six minutes. So. That's all for this one. We'll see you.